Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting a Discord download error when you're trying to update your software. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu, just like one at one time. You want to type in File Explorer. Best match should come back with File Explorer above Desktop App. You want to left click on that one time. Now you want to left click on this PC on the left side. Go underneath your local disk where Windows is installed on to double click on it. Now you want to go underneath Users. Select whatever user account you're on right now. Go up to the View tab up at the top, left click on it one time. Left click on Options right here. Left click on the View tab. And then where it says hidden files and folders, you want to fill in the circle next to show hidden files, folders, and drives. Left click on apply and OK. Now you want to double click on the app data folder here. Double click on local. And now you want to double click on Discord. So there should be something that says update in here. You want to right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. This should attempt to go run the Discord updater. Let it run, see if it finds anything. Now if it doesn't, I would also suggest heading back to the start menu after you've restarted your computer. Type in Windows Features. Best match should come back with turn Windows Features on or off, right above Control Panel. Left click on that. This new dialog window should appear. Just be patient while it loads. You want to make sure where it says .NET Framework 4.7 is turned on, you want to make sure it's filled in. If it's blank, you want to left click to fill in the box and then left click on OK. We suggest restarting your computer as well. And then I would also even suggest to see if your antivirus is perhaps creating conflict. So maybe you want to make an exclusion for that program or processes. Every antivirus is a little different, so you probably have to go online and look up your specific AV. But hopefully one of the methods I went through in this tutorial should address your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.